Hello, my friend. Hopefully, you are doing great. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use another accession library, try triad, and then you have another option for yourself in your project. Uh, beside web driver I/O, um, building um accession library, or uh, we calling it matrix. So, what is try triad? So, you go to try triad dot com. Uh, that's it, the home page of Try Triad. It's a PDD TDD instruction library for Node, and we can use in our project. We have something like um, suit, expect, and assert. I'm not going to show you all of them because there is a huge documentation, and you can um, read more. Uh, for example, if you want to use the expect. Uh, style you can visit aspect guide here <clears throat> and there's a lot of example how to use so I will use one of them and then you can read through and do the same if you want to use anything else okay so first thing first we need to install these pockets in our project and because we want to sell it uh, sell it as uh, a dependency and uh, for dev dependency, and we want to sell it into our packet .json here. So let's specify a command to run and install it. So we have npm install and try here. So let's do it. npm install, you can put the letter i like this. i stands for install. And the name of the, the library that you want to install. In this case, it try and you put hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev enter. Uh, now you can see the tries here is uh, already included in the packet dot tracer at the version four dot two dot zero, and we can config and use it. How can config it? You go to your tech configuration, so you put another option. So don't forget the, the comma here after another property because if you don't put this, there will be a, an error, okay? So put it. So the option here should be you use the web driver I.O. Uh, before hook. So in the behold for hook, you use before and you define a function. In this function, you are going to assign a global variable with the name aspect. Before doing this, you need to import the try um, from library. So you uh, let try equal required try, okay? Uh, because this is out of the our sucrose context, so you cannot use the assist syntax like import choice from choice. So just put it something like let choice equal require try. Uh, that should be fine. Um, not try like that. Here. Require try. That means the library that we already installed. Um, so now you declare a global dot aspect, but we don't want to see any conflict with the aspect from web driver IO. So we declare something like aspect uh, chai aspect global chai aspect to distinguish with the aspect function from web driver IO equal chai dot Expect that's all. <clears throat> now you go back to the text script, uh, not the text script. You go back to the credential form here. You see, verify email test display. You can use something like this is the expect from the web driver IO that you already knew. Now I want to use expect from chai. This is chai expect here, the global variable. Expect uh, did email test field dot get value. I 
call the ABI, the command get value to get the value from the email text field. And then after that, I will do the method training from the try aspect that to dot p dot equal with the value, right? If not, I'm gonna raise an error like error the email value field the email uh, field value is incorrect right something like that and okay let's trigger something parallel first okay like I will put something more like uh, TOE again, right? And I want to run this. And this one will be best because we we saw it works in the previous lesson, but this one will be failed. And we expect to see an error message like this that the, the email field value is incorrect, okay? So first, you need to start your IPM server. And then you need to track the whether your device is connected to your PC by using the command ADB, uh, ADB device. Yeah. And you trigger the command to run the test, NBM test, and you specify the tech configuration file by here. Enter. Let me open the visor application and then you can see. Uh, let me minimize it. So now you see the test is failed, uh, value attribute, but it's failed for another reason. Uh, value attribute is now for the element only following trackable class. Uh, let me see. Enable. Uh, here is not in the web view, so let's see. Mm. Maybe we will turn to something like guest text. And we run again. Uh, yeah, now you see um, the email field value is incorrect and we expected TOE to be double TOE here. So it's incorrect. So so this message, will, you will just see it when your test, your assertion is failed. So in the case your assertion is successfully, it, you will not see it. So let's trigger the real one here and run it again. So technically it's too bad. So during the runtime, let, let me summary for you something. Uh, to verify the result from your test, you can do another popular um, attraction library for not that it try. And we often do, uh, we, uh, we often call it, it is try, try it. And you need to install it first by specify the command uh, NBM is to try hyphen hyphen say hyphen death and then that information will save to the packet dot tracing and that will install the library for you as well. The second step that you need to change your tag configuration file. Uh, you need to put another property here that is before and I declared that a function. Uh, inside the function party, I declare a global object that global dot try aspect. So you can call it any name like uh, aspect. But if I put aspect, if you conflict with the aspect uh, assertion, 
methods uh, built in from web driver IO. So I don't want to see that. So I specify try aspect and you can use that's global anywhere in your source code. For example, here you have try aspect and you expect the test from email test field to be equal with the value. In the case that the verification uh, failed, uh, this error, option error will be uh, raised and you can see detail. So it is just optional, you can dismiss the uh, the message, but um, I suggest you have some message because in the case of failure, you want to see in detail, right? So just put some custom message here. So the first step, you probably need to go back here in the documentation and you read on the, the guide here. So in the guide here, as you can see a lot of other um, uses and you can flow and try to do in your project. So for my own, I, I don't often do all of them, just some of them because you know, for UI typing, we just track the the test and we check something like visible or not visible, something like that. So keep practicing and keep learning. See you in the next lesson.